Hello, good evening, everybody. Evening. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Oh my God. Hello, hello. Almost full house. It's very early. That's weird. <laughs> nice. I guess the rain brought you home earlier. Okay. So really nice to have you here. So welcome, eh, Nelson, Blaquita, eh, Beatriz. Carlos, Oscar, Maria Elena, and Carlos Javier. Very good. Okay, guys. Uh, so as you probably know, well, we are on the verge of pretty much finishing uh, this module. We are just going to be, let me see, we're pretty much ending on um, Thursday, right? Not this coming Thursday, but next Thursday. So that's pretty much how this is going to end, how this is going to be. Okay. Now, let's see, let's see. Uh, first things first, let's take attendance so that we know what we got to know. So let me see. Que diferente veo Blanquita ahora. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> All right. <let's... laughs> nah, let's see. Wait, wait, ya perdí la lista. Here it is. All right, so here we go. Let's see. Wait, it's opening. There you, there he is. Okay, so we start with Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman. Present teacher. All righty, thank you very much, Beatriz. Nice. And we continue with Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present teacher. <laughs> okay, Blanquita, nice. Present. No yes, si yes, yes okay. we heard you. <laughs> sí, Blanquita, gracias. Let's see, Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you very much, Charlie. And we continue with Carlos Javier Crespin. Present teacher. Present. All right, thank you very much, Javier. Nice. And then we continue with Christian Ernesto Lasso. Christian Ernesto Lasso, not here, not yet. A next person, Denise Grisel Brizuela. Present teacher. All right, thank you, Grisel. Very good. A we continue with Ember Giovanni Polio. All right, not here anymore. So we continue with Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. Not here yet. So we continue with Jose Eduardo Guzman. Jose Eduardo, not here. So next person, Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Juan Carlos. Not here. So next person, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Karen Vanessa. Okay. Mm, not here, no. not yet. So we continue with Luis Alfonso Martinez. Good evening. Good evening, eh, Luis. Está triste por lo de la selecta o no? Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> Qué tristeza, ¿verdad? Qué decepción. Perdió la selecta. Otra vez, sí. Only three. Yes. Eh, three zero, right? Yes, sir. Yo no pudimos meter, güey. Ni modo. Son cositas. Let's see. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Gracias. Thank you very much, María Elena. Y next person, Nelson Gabarrete Merino. I'm here, teacher. All right. Thank you very much, Nelson. So next person, Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present. Thank you very much, Omar. A next person, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. This is K for Canada, El Salvador. <laughs> Present. It was piece of cake. Thank you, Oscar. Very good. All right, and last but not least, Jenny Suleima Santos. Jenny Suleima, not here yet. Okay, 
So there you go. All right, guys. So antes de comenzar, como les decía al inicio, y bueno, estamos en la recta final, y ya terminando prácticamente el módulo, ya solo nos quedaría de aquí al mier, no, el jueves, right? Y acuérdense que hoy hay que subir, no, bueno, hay que, hay que mandar notas. So, creo que vamos al día, creo que vamos bien, la mayoría. Así que, bueno, si no los han terminado, si hay algo por ahí que esté pendiente, eh, traten de enviarlo. Yo sigo a veces en línea, en lo que se, se sube el video eh, de la clase y todo, hasta como a las diez y media. Ya a las diez, diez y media adelante, mmm, no sé, ¿verdad? todo puede suceder. Me dormí, me quedé dormido. Ajá. Yes, Biche, me y la, la, la de la tarea 14. Eso yo se lo voy a arreglar porque de aquí a que me lo resuelvan el sistema y no sé cuánto se van a tardar. Así que ah, eso okay. usted déjenlo así y yo le voy a sumar estos okay. puntos en la nota que yo paso. Le voy a mandar captura sí. para que vean que sí se los puse. Yo tengo nice. una duda con la tarea 12. La tarea 12, a ver. No sé si ver. alguien lo pudo hacer, pero a mí me Ajá. sale. ¿Le da error? Mm, varias malas. Ah, ¿qué será? ¿Alguien que haya completado, que le haya dado error en la 12? ¿Tarea 12? No. Mm, no, sé. no hay errores. No, ¿será quizás que está poniendo tal vez toda la oración y es solo una palabra como la vez anterior? Ah, tal vez. Ajá, a veces como no especifican en las indicaciones, eh, eso suele pasar que uno, uno pone toda la oración para corregirla pero es solo una palabra a veces la que falta. Por ahí ha de andar la cosa. Bueno, voy a intentar. Nice, nice. Revisa y cualquier cosa me avisa. Y si no, ahí le ayudamos. Nice. Ok, then. So, aparte de eso, quiero ver qué más. Y, ah, se nos viene también ya el último examen. Si mal no recuerdo, creo que lo haríamos martes, creo. O jueves, no me acuerdo, no, martes creo que es, para que esté lista la nota para jueves, si no mal no recuerdo. Y, so, pretty much, lo que alcancemos a ver, ¿no? Todo lo que hemos estado viendo, y phrasal verbs, idioms, a pesar de que les he mandado y bastantes, bueno, por ahí un par de, de idioms, vea, como, como unos 10 creo que eran, ¿no? <ríe> Gran lista, ¿verdad? A pesar de que le he compartido ese montón de idioms, no crean que todo eso les va a salir en el examen, ¿verdad? Eso es para que ustedes lo, lo practiquen, eh, aparte, ¿no? Para que ustedes lo estudien, lo repasen, eh, puedan sacar cositas que les puedan servir de ahí. Y, pero para los exámenes, lo del libro, ¿verdad? Lo que viene en el libro... Y las expresiones que, en, que están ahí en el libro, eh, esas que, que nos aparecen en negrita, eh, las que completamos los significados por ahí, eh, esas son las que vienen. No, no van a creer que eh, me, lo voy a poner a aprenderse la chorrera de, de idioms, ¿verdad? So, anyway, si yo hiciera el examen, tal vez. <ríe> Pero acá no lo hago yo. No, mentira, lo pongo fácil. No, hombre, no sé. So, y yes. este, usted claro. mencionó que hasta el, el martes tenemos para hacer el examen final. Creo ¿Sí que es posible sí. antes. ¿Perdón? Si ¿Sí es posible antes. Yo creo que no hay problema. Y como les decía la vez anterior, es primera vez que, que, que estoy acá en, en, en inglés corporativo. De hecho, para mí es como sorpresa que ustedes hagan el examen fuera de la clase. Es como de, mmm, no lo sé, Rick. Pero bueno, <risa> no, pero acostumbramos a hacerlo en, en clase, en otros lados donde he estado. Y entonces, no es que uno va a estar ahí, ay, quiero ver que si no está copiando. Y, pero en el sentido de que a veces hay dudas o, o preguntas, y entonces sí se resuelven en la clase, ¿no? Pero cuando ustedes lo hacen solito y de repente hay cosas que salen mal y, y, y tal vez ustedes no hayan a quién preguntarle, por eso me sorprendía. Y, pero yo creo que sí se puede entregar antes. Eh, según entiendo, son como tareas, son como las tareas casi, ¿no? Entonces usted puede adelantar si, si puede, ¿no? Sí, porque en algunas partes del examen, esencialmente son partes de tareas que ya, ya hemos hecho. 
Ajá, correcto. Entonces se repiten por ahí algunos ejercicios, solo es como para eh, revisar que usted haya ido entendiendo, ¿no? Así que si pueden avanzar, adelante, ¿verdad? no hay problema. Mejor antes que, que después. Sí, más que todo le decía, teacher, porque este, planeaba hacerlo este fin de semana. Ya ah, que entre, semana, entre semana se me hace un poco más, un poco complicado. Vengo tipo siete y media, ya solo medio ratito a realizar el equipo. Ajá, no, sí, súper. Este, buena idea, de hecho, si lo quieren hacer por ahí un rato con tiempo, el fin de semana, pues adelante, ¿verdad? mucho que mejor. Este, si no, no tienen el espacio entre semana o les es más complicado. Ok, nice. gracias. Thank okay. you, teacher. Nice, anytime. Y um, quiero ver qué más. Um, por ahí tengo y... No, después les voy a decir. Después hablamos de eso. So, <laughs> anyway, después hablamos de eso. So, let's get down to business, right? Let's see. In these past days, we have been talking a little bit about different expressions, right? Like idioms. We have been talking about phrasal verbs. Uh, pretty much expressions that helped us uh, to understand a little bit about what the English language is. In these, with these expressions, we were like uh, looking for different ways to say uh, simple ideas, right? So, anyway, before we start or before we continue with the class I have for today, which is related somehow to these topics that we have been studying, I want to bring to your attention something that you studied, that we studied before about the present perfect. If you remember, we studied the present perfect and we said that we needed to memorize past participles, right? So, Let's have a little review on past participles. Let's see if we actually remember some of them before we continue with the class. So let's see. Let me share my screen. But first, let's see. Let me create. All right, there you go. So I'm going to share my screen so that you can see here this game so here we go okay yeah good evening teacher hello good evening welcome thank you teacher all right anytime okay guys so let's see we're going to play in two groups we're going to be playing this a game to review past participles so here we go Easy. This is like the previous uh, reviews that we have done with this game. We are going to call a number, but this time what you're going to see is the simple, I'm sorry, the simple present, the simple past, and then you're going to give me the past participle form of the verb in the card. Okay, so we are going to play in two groups. So let me see. In group number one, I have Beatriz, eh, Carlos Antonio, Carlos Javier, María Elena, Nelson, Omar. All right. In group number two, I have eh, Blanquita, Grisel, eh, Juan Carlos, Luis, Oscar, and Jenny, and let me see. ¿Quién se me ha quedado por ahí? Ah, Eli, all right. Sure. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Que fue la última que, que se conectó, no se agregó. So, Eli, group number two, all right. Nice. Okay. So, let's see. Excellent. Let's start then with group number one. So, let me see. Beatriz, choose a number. Seven. Number seven, lucky seven. Let's see. Huh. What do you think is the past participle? Simple present, shut. Simple past, shut. A past participle? What do you think? Shutting. Shutting. Ten. Shutting, shutting. Oops. Like, 
Let me see. How do you spell it? S H U T. And what else? A N. E N? Like this? Like this? And G. Ah, and G? Like this? I N G? Are you sure? <laughs> Remember the past participle form is, for example, oh, when sorry. I have eat, ate, eaten, right? Eat, ate, um, eaten. A-M, it's a A-M. E-N, are you sure? Shooten. Quiere ayuda al público? De los compañeros del grupo? All right, let's see. <laughs> Como dice la llamada para Please. <laughs> All right. Uh, who from group number one? Someone would mm. like to help. Mm -hmm. Carlos Antonio. Okay, Carlos Antonio. Lo han elegido. Let's see. Okay. Carlos, what do you think? The same. Shoot. The same? So yes. shut, shut, shut? Yes. 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 Beatriz, do you agree? Yes, teacher. Sure. Okay. Confía en Carlos. Dice. Let's see. <laughs> Let me see. And the answer is shut. Very good. Nice. So excellent. Here we have an irregular. Well, all the verbs that we're going to see are irregular verbs. So we don't know, right? They are unpredictable. So we have. Some cases, they don't change, like shut, 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 cut, 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 right? So uh, some verbs are not going to change. Perfect. So you got the points. Very good. So let's see. Uh, team number two, Blanquita, choose a number. Five. Number five. Number five. Okay, number five. Wait, what about this one, Blanquita? Tear, tour. What would it be? Tear, tour. Help me. <laughs> Help me. Help me. Help me. Someone. Someone from the group. Aha, let's see. Luis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Torn. Torn. T O R N. Torn. Let's see. Would that be the answer? Do you agree, Blanquita? Yes. Sí, yes. Yeah, confía en Luis. Yes. All right. Sí. Let's see. A ciega dice. Let's see. Torn. Very good. Nice. So excellent. Tear. Torn. Torn. So, tear puede ser, puede significar lágrima, pero en este caso es un verbo, es rasgar, eh, rasgar una tela o pedazo de algo, ¿no? So, tear, tore, and torn. Very good. So, we go. So, let me see. So, we continue with Carlos Javier. Teacher, no era mi turno. I'm sorry. Espera, me quiero ver. Ey, no era mi turno. Quiero ver si no me saltea un Carlos. Ah, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 es Carlos Antonio. True, true, true. No problem. Okay. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> me equivoqué, Carlos. No, number one. Number one. Let's see. Number one. What, are, what do you think? Hurt. Hurt. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Are you sure? Yes. yes. I look at him very sure. Let's see. Yay, very good. Heard, heard, heard. Excellent. Very good, Charlie. Nice. So you got the points. Let's see. Grisel, choose a number. Okay. Um number 10. Number 10. Let's see number 10. What about this one, Grisel? Show, showed. I 
I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need some help? I'm sorry, team. <laughs> All yeah, right. Team. team, help. Show. Show. Like. S H O S H O W N. M. Shown. Let's see what it be. Excellent. There you go. Nice, JC. So, shown. In this case, well, something very curious happens. We have show and showed. Showed goes with ed, like if it's an irregular, like if it is a regular verb. But the past participle, it's irregular. So it's shown, right? So just a curious verb. So very good. All right. So let's see. I see. Carlos Javier. <laughs> let's see. Number six. Number six. Let's see, number six. Pay, pay. Um. Ah, quiero ver. Creo que también usaré el comodín de la llamada. <laughs> okay, so, hello, team. What do you think? Pay. Um, quiero ver. Ana Beatriz. Ah. Aquí me dice la mano. Okay. <laughs> Beatriz, yes. ¿cuál es el premio? Is paid. <laughs> paid. The same. Paid. Yes. So, let's like this one. Paid. Paid. Let's see. Would it be? Yes. Nice. So, we have pay, paid, paid. It's the same, right? So, excellent. So, nice. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> let's see. Uh, Juan Carlos. I hear. All right, number let's see. 12. Number 12. JC says number 12. Uy, what about this one? The verb to be, Juan Carlos. Be, was, and where, and? Uh, being. Being. Let's see, would it be being? Yay, very good. So there you go. B E E N. No B E A N, all right? No se van a equivocar al escribirlo, si no van a poner frijol en vez de bean, right? So careful there. So there you go. Nice. So bean, you got the points. So let's see. Group number one. We go back to Maria Elena. The number two. Number two, let's see, number two. What about this one, Maria Elena? Meet, met. <laughs> uh -huh. You have it in the tip of your tongue. Uh -huh. Meet, met. Need some help? Yes, I need help. Aha, uh -huh, all right. Let's see. Group, what do you think? Help, mm -hmm. Maria Elena. Meet, too. Meet? Meet again. Meet with double E. With one. With one. So, met. Met. Mm, let's see, would that be the answer, Maria Elena? Yes, there you go. <laughs> so, meet, met, met. Excellent. Very good, Maria Elena. Nice. Teacher, teacher, I have a question. Yes. In the in the pronunciation the W A. I don't remember how do you no, I don't remember how do you pronounce it. Oh I, my gosh. But you understand I, British, what happened? In the British W uh -huh. I E E. 
E, there you go. Uh -huh. in, in the pronunciation, ya ni me acuerdo qué dijo. <laughs> Come on, la pera mentira. No. Porque, teacher, ¿por qué cuando, en la doble E se pronuncia I y en una E se pronuncia E, MET? That's a nice question. That's a beautiful question. Se llaman ambiente fonético, de hecho. Y dependiendo de dónde, de lo que rodea una vocal, eso influye en la pronunciación y de una, de dicha vocal, ¿no? En este caso, y tenemos mit y met. Usualmente, la combinación de las dos e siempre va a sonar a i, un sonido largo, como en meet. Y we have another one. Well, this is like a last name, but it applies. Read, right, with double e. Need, right? So it's always an e, but just one e usually sounds like an e in Spanish, like in get, met, right? So it sounds like an e. Usually, the same happens with the O, double O, sounds like a U, like in cool, good, but only one sounds like an O in Spanish, like, well, not all the time, but for example, cold, God, right, the pronunciation changes, but it, it's something like that. So it depends on the environment for the vowel. Thank you, teacher. All right, anytime. Teacher, you know, Leah? No una doble A. Haciendo, pero... <risa> ok. <risa> una doble A. Pero muy no rara la pronunciación. Oh, ok. Nice. But there you go the answer. Juan Carlos, a doble A. No. Hay frases. <risa> pues solamente está en la doble E y la doble O. Yeah. Usually it would be double E, double O. And let me see. Pretty much. Ahí tal vez en lo que sí he visto una doble A y en apellidos, en apellidos tal vez que no, se, que no deriven del, del inglés en sí, sino que, que sean tal vez alemanes, que sean tal vez de otro, de otro país, tal vez, pero en inglés no, no con doble A. Pero ya me, ya me dio en qué pensar. <ríe> so, nice, good question. Yo diría que no, pero lo voy a investigar. So, good question. Nice. In dictionary. Right. Yes, no, in dictionary, but I don't think so. <laughs> but I'll find out. So, let's see. E group number, let me see. Group number two, Luis. Luis, Luis, are you there? Number right, teacher. Number eight, let's see number eight. Easy, drink, drink, drunk. drink, drunk, drink, drunk. He's drunk. Drunk, let's see. Yes, sir. Drink, drunk, drunk. En casi en viernes nos viene a salir este verbo. Let's see. Yes, drunk, very good, Luis. Drink, drunk, drunk. Excellent, there you go. Quiero una frase de las que hemos visto de Idiom, que de esa de no me des ideas. No me des ideas. ¿Cuál será? Mm. It's me. I don't know. Lo deja de tarea. Yeah, ya me puso la tarea. So, there you go. I would say, hold your horses, pero tiene otra connotación. Hold your horses como de tranquilo, ¿verdad? porque es miércoles apenas. So that's a different thing. <laughs> Good. So let's see. Group number one, we go back to Mr. Nelson. Hello, teacher. Hello. Eleven. eleven. Let's see. Number eleven. Yes. What about this one, Nelson? Grow, grew. Oh. Oh, <laughs> grow, grow. Uh -huh. grow, 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 grow again. 
Guru. Are you sure? Guru. How do you spell it? Like this? Guru? The same? Yes. Guru. Yes. Guru. All right. Final decision. Not this. Huh? <laughs> Alguien se opone en el, a, esta, a esta unión. Oh, a ver que me ayude ahí. Uh -huh. no sé. what, do you, what do you think, Beatriz? Let's see. It's grown, teacher. Grown. Ah. It's so N anti N. Ah, N anti N. So, grown. Ah. See, would that be? Yes. So, we have grow, grew. Oh. Grown, right? Oh. That's the past participle, grown. Similar to grown, but with an N. Salvado por ah. Beatriz. <laughs> El último momento. Salvado por la campaña, por Beatriz. <laughs> Gracias, Beatriz. Nice, nice goalkeeper. Very good. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> so very good. So let's see. Group number two. We continue with Oscar. Oscar, Oscar. Are you there, Oscar? No? And Oscar is not available, maybe. So let con let's continue with Jenny. Hello. Uh, nine. Number nine. Let's see. Jenny says number nine. No Ay, no. Way. <laughs> yes. Yo no quiero jugar esto. La última perdí. Cuesta <laughs> otra vez. Oh my God. <laughs> so no, we swap no. the points. Oh my God, Jenny. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> so now we change the points. Thank point. you, Jenny. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. Oh, Thank you. Creo que es infiltrada del otro equipo. Yeah, yo creo que le pasan comisión del otro equipo. Ahí va la comisión, Jenny. Gracias. Por Bitcoin se lo manda. No. Ahorita okay. hago la transferencia, Jenny. Oh my God, no way. Let's see then. We continue with Omar, group number one. Number three. Number three. Let's see, Omar, number three. All right, so we have Ryan, Road. Right. Ryan. Mm, the same, Ryan. Are you sure? No. No. Diga que sí para no, que nos pasen los puntos. No teacher. Oh, me teacher. No, me teacher. Me teacher. <laughs> All right. No, let's no see. teacher. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Let's see. So. Right then, teacher. What? Read it. Read it. Yes. Let's see. Y Beatriz again. No, no, <laughs> All right, <laughs> Beatrice, saving the day, let's see. Yes, read it. very good. So, y debe ser portera de la selección, Beatriz, porque siempre, siempre lo salva. <laughs> it siempre lo nice... salva, gracias, yeah. Beatriz. Thank you. Thank you, Cuando Beatriz. me toque a mí, no voy a salvar. <laughs> Nadie le ayuda. Hay que preguntar a mí, Ana Beatriz. Ah, there you go, you see. Okay. Si nos preguntan no, nosotros, no, no. nosotros le vamos a ayudar del equipo 2. Ok. Okay, ok. Oh my gosh. Jesus. All right. So we continue. Group number two. Eh, Eli. Eli, Eli. Mm. Teacher, y hay otro igual. Ah, Pero yes. no perder. Hay, hay, hay trampa, Eli. So, be careful. Vaya, mire, no sé qué estamos haciendo, pero el 15. 15, let's see. 
Yes, fixing. Fifteen. Y diez puntos. All right. Easy. Break. Broke. Past participle. Break. Mm -hmm. Break. Broke. No, no sé, teacher. <gasps> No, broken, Peter, broken, broken. Broken? Así que perdamos. <risa> <risa> no, Solo por eso 20 puntos más. <risa> broken, there you go, nice, JC. Break, broke, broken, right? So, past participle, broken. Simple present break, simple past broke, past participle, broken. Nice. So, there you go. So we go back to group number one, Beatriz. 14, teacher. 14, let's see. Sleep, slept. Um, sleep. Um, uh -huh. Animo, Beatriz. Usted todo lo sabe. 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 Usted todo so next one, Blanquita. Four, number four. Number four, para que no esté solito el four aquí. Let's see. No, my God. The other Yo lo vi que era más azul que los demás, teacher. Jesus, the other team loses 15 points. El otro equipo pierde 15 yes, sir. puntos. Yes, sir. Gracias, oh, Blanquita. Wow. Con todo, Blanquita. So nice. Ok. Se sí, se lo desquitó. Ya ven, todo regresa. All right. So, ok. There you go. So, team number one. Eh, no. Yes, right. Team number one. We go back to Carlos Antonio. 13. No. 16. 16. Ah, 16. Let's see. 16. Begin. Begun. 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 Let's okay. see. Oh my God. There you go. Very sure. That's nice. Begin. Begun. Begun. Excellent, Carlos. Good. So you got the points. So. Let's see, the last one. Puede ser un pierde todos los puntos o gana 50. Todo puede pasar. <laughs> so, Grisel. <laughs> this one is for you, Grisel. El de la suerte, 13. So, here we go. Okay. No, my God. Jesus. <laughs> Take 25 points from the other team. Le roba 25 puntos al otro equipo. Team number two. Oh my gosh. Jesus Christ. You see? Todo puede suceder. No se vale, Tisha. I'm sorry. Oh my God. There you go. So, anyway. Right? Bueno. En la guerra y en el amor. Y en las clases de inglés. So nice, excellent. Those are vale. So good. Okay, then. So after reviewing this, remember a study review past participles. If not, you will not be able to use the present perfect. Si no nos aprendemos los past participles, no podemos utilizar el present perfect. Si usted no utiliza el present perfect, se está privando de un tiempo súper importante que se usa más que el simple present y que incluso el simple past. So, 
Uh, reinforce your speaking, right? Learn past participles. It's going to help you to use other tenses. Y los past participles no solo le van a servir para el present perfect, le van a servir para el present perfect continuous, el past perfect, past perfect continuous, future perfect, future perfect continuous. So, olvídense, o sea, aprendense los past participles. They are really, really important. So, y that pretty much, right? So, try to memorize them. Now, coming back to our topics from the book. Let me see. There you go. So, this was the last thing that we were doing yesterday. We were talking a little bit about Phrasal verbs. What are phrasal verbs? Do you remember something about that? What are phrasal verbs? In your own words. What do you this, say, teacher? Uh huh. What are phrasal verbs? In your own words. How do we make phrasal verbs? Do you remember like tighten up? You, we were reviewing some conversation there with this expression, switch off, turn off, call up, eh, tighten up. What are phrasal verbs then? Verb plus up, off. Ah, so it's a verb plus a word. How do we call that word that we add to the verb? It's a pre? Preposition. Preposition, there you go. A phrasal verb is an action. It's a verb plus a preposition. Like in the examples that we were reviewing yesterday. A clean up, right? The verb clean plus a preposition. Up, clean up. E get down, right, or get up. Always a verb plus a preposition. So those are phrasal verbs. Now, besides studying this about a phrasal verbs, right below we have a something here about prevented maintenance. So this is something that we're going to study today eh, about preventive maintenance. And here we have a little exercise. It says, read the following tips on how to organize a preventive maintenance plan. And there you have like different steps to do it. For example, get the right people on board, set goals for your preventive maintenance plan, inventory the equipment and assets, and that's pretty much it. And then we have a little exercise here that I'm going to explain to you what you're going to do with that in a second. First, let's start by reading this uh, prevented maintenance plan so that we understand what we're going to do with the exercise. I'm gonna read it for you. So you listen and identify any new word that you uh, can find there in the reading. So it says, before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understands the way your systems operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on board and kept up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. Step two. Set goals for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task force's input, set goals you hope 
uh, you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skills they'll need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. And number three, inventory the equipment and assets. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you are considering, including in your preventive maintenance plan. Tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go and keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. There you go. So, what are we going to do with this reading about the uh, preventive maintenance plan? Pretty much right below, we have some, uh, like, let's say steps or things we gotta do, or we have some statements related to this and we've got to determine. We don't have there the instruction, but I, uh, well, it should say if they are true, or false. So uh, we're going to work on this in, let me see, in pairs. I guess we can work in pairs to discuss if the statements here are true or false based on the reading that we just had right now. So I'm going to give you, let me see, just some minutes. Wait. All right. Uh, okay. So I'm going to give you just some minutes here for you to discuss if the statements are true or false. So there is going to be a trio, I guess. I know I don't have repetido a Nelson. Hoy no es la do, no es el doble Nelson. Just one. So nice. Hoy no tengo doble. Hoy no, no aplica la doble Nelson. Nice. Hoy no. No te dejo la tri. Ah, caray. Ya me recordó algo. Yeah, I, I, I remember the song too. So, anyway. Good. Cabal. Bueno, está ahí, señoritas. Ahí está, ahí está. So, group number one. Carlos, Antonio, Karen, and Jenny. You are group number one. Uh, group number yeah. two, Denise, uh, Grisel, and Nelson. So good. Next, Carlos Javier and Maria Elena. Number four, Ana Beatriz and Elizabeth. Group... Sí, es que yo le quiero decir que no, no me voy a poder unir al grupo. Ah, la, la saco de la clase entonces. No. Sí. <laughs> Good night, Eli. No, mentira. So, okay. So I'm going to oh, place no. then. No, mentira. La voy a poner entonces a Beatriz. Let me see. I'm going to move you, Beatriz, so that you can work with Luis and Oscar. All right. So, Beatriz, you're working with Luis and Oscar. Then we have a... Blanquita and Jose Eduardo. So you're working together. And in group number, in the last group, I have Juan Carlos and Omar, okay? So let's see. I'm going to open the session, uh, the small room so that you can start working. Uh, you can check again the reading so that you identify if these statements are true or false. I'm gonna give you 10 minutes for you to complete it. Then we come back to the main session and we check, all right? So you can join the small rooms now. So you can start working now.
right so well waiting for the rest then here nice i guess we are almost there so nice let's wait for the rest teacher me asustó <laughs> i'm sorry me asustó ya me está durmiendo no te siga durmiendo eli tranquila <laughs> That's the teacher. Huh? That's assistant. Yes, ahorita. Pero tengo que esperar que vengan todos. So All right. See. But thank you, thank you, Beatriz. Nice. My time but, keep. Voy a la tienda, teacher. Permita. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Voy a traer una cora de francés. <laughs> Uno churro y soda. <laughs> no, me, no, no me alborote el estómago. Let's si no, un, un café soda. bien cargado. Puro veneno, puro veneno Juan Carlos. Pues si no, un café bien ah, cargado. A ti. Un café, bueno, aunque sea un café y unos dos pancitos. Ya con eso ya. O las gotonas ahorita que están dos por uno. Cabales de aprovechar. <laughs> nice, yeah. I wish I could, but let's see. So, well, now I guess we're all here. So, before we continue, let me just take attendance for, let me see for the second time. So, here we go. Okay, so let's see. Here we go with the attendance one more time. So, I have first one, Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Beatriz. Nice. Next, Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Blanquita. And next, Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you very much, Carlos. And next person, Carlos Javier. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Thank you very much, Javier. Good. Y next person, Cristian Ernesto Lazo. Cristian, I guess not here, not yet. So we continue with Denise Grisel Brizuela. Present teacher. Thank you very much, y Grisel, very good. Y next person, Ember Giovanni Polio. Ando tocando las donas, teacher. Yeah, el, el, el encargado de las donas. Uh -huh. <laughs> So nice. Next person, Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. I am sleeping. Yeah, disculpe que la despierte, Eli. So thank you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Next person, Jose Eduardo Guzman Alvarez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Jose Eduardo. Nice. So we continue with, we wait. All right, so we continue with Juan Carlos Rivas. Se fue a traer las donas. <laughs> Anda poniendo el café. Ah, uh, present teacher. <laughs> nice, Juan Carlos, very good. So next person, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Thank you very much, Karen, nice. So next person, Luis Alfonso Martinez. Present teacher, teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, uh. It's my, uh, I can meeting with you. Ah, you can see the class. Ah, yes, yes, perdió yes. la selecta. Ah, 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 I'm sick, Richard. Ah, okay, I'm, okay. Cry, I'm crying, okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> well, 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 you well, feel well, under well. the weather, okay. <laughs> nice, that's okay, Luis. Let's see. Bueno, Jose Eduardo dijo que también se podía quedar ahora entonces. Can you? Okay, okay, teacher. Excellent. Nice, Jose Eduardo. So, eh, we can stay there 10 minutes at the end. So, now we continue with Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Maria Elena. Nice. Eh, we continue with Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much, Nelson. Y next person, Omar Francisco Hernández. Present. Thank you very much, Omar. Good. Next person, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. What is the meeting? What is the meeting? 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> There you go, Oscar. <laughs> nice. And last but not least, Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. All right. Thank you very much, Jenny. Okay. So now let's see. Let's check on that little assignment that you had there. So let me see. Can you help me reading? Number one, wait, 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 uh, está. so let me, can you help me reading the first one? Let me see, um, Karen, hi. Can, hi, can you read number one? Okay, um, having the appropriate people on board is not relevant. There you go. And what do you think? Do you think that's true or false according to the reading? It's false. It's false. So and what do you think it's important? Uh, the important maybe is that... Uh, I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> according <laughs> to the reading, it mentions that you need the right people because... Yeah. But in your own words, what do you think that we need that special people? Uh, include people who understand of my talent. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the system, the system is important. Uh -huh. There you go. So people who know, right? People who actually know about the matter, like the ones that they are uh, well, actually suggesting there. So, Grisel, you have raised your hand. Uh, yes, teacher. I don't know if you give me maybe 10 minutes because I got the red star on my cell phone. Ah, so you're going to be absent like 10 minutes? Is that what you say? Yes. Yeah, sure. Or sure. I, I come to disconnect. For okay, yeah, minutes. no worries. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, nice. Thanks. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Karen, you select another person. Um, Luis Alfonso? Luis, let's see. Luis, can you read number two? Okay, teacher, it is important to include people who understand on my name. Maintenance, what did you, what did their pronunciation, teacher? Maintenance. 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 Excellent. There you go. Okay, maintenance. Okay, it is uh -huh. true, teacher. True, exactly. Why do you think it's true? <laughs> because, because, uh, uh, because, uh, Many people to know the work to different mm -hmm. activity activity activities in in my in my maintenance 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 they need to know right so that's what we are talking about here so they need to know about maintenance so they need to be included there. So very good. So it's true. Excellent. So Luis, you select another person. Okay, teacher. Uh, Jenny. Jenny, let's see. Jenny, can you read a number three? Three. Setting goal is uh -huh. an option for the PMP. Aha. Uh -huh. It's true. It's true. true. So it's yes. uh, an option. Um, in step those set goals you hope to change using the the system. Uh -huh. So it's something that it's like an option, or is something that we have to do? Uh, as said, uh -huh. is said it is. Será opcional o o es parte del plan. Es parte del plan, creo. Ah, so it's Así part of the plan. Exactly. So it is not exactly an option, but it's uh, an important part of the plan, right? So there you go. 
So in that case, we would say that this is false because it's saying that it's an option, not a part of the plan. So in this case, false. Okay, yeah. false. Nice. nice, Jenny, but good, good. So let's see, Jenny, you select another person. I don't want to um, be the bad guy. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, JC, number four, JC. He left and I Mr. Donuts. <laughs> Aprovechando la, la promoción. Okay. Uh, number four. Yes. For better results, creating a list of the assets is important. Of the assets. For me, it's true. Uh, the assets. True. Uh -huh. yeah, true. True. So, definitely, right? So, where does it mention that? In what, in what step, Juan Carlos? It's step three. Step three, exactly. So there, it, it makes emphasis. Create a list of uh -huh. uh, the assets you have responsibility for. Exactly. There you go. Making an inventory about the equipment and assets that we have in, in the company. Excellent. Nice. So let me see. Uh, Juan Carlos, select another person. Uh, Eduardo. Eduardo. Eduardo, let's see, number five. Um, yes, it's a, uh, all right. Uh, no, number, number five. Right? Number five, uh, well. yes. Uh, according to the artist, uh, Arico, Arico, Arico to uh, carry, to carry out, to carry out uh, the PAP, uh, uh, I saw it is mon, mon, monetary, uh, a software is mandatory. Uh, uh, is uh, is uh, la respuesta uh -huh. uh, está en el en, en step in number three uh -huh. good is uh, good present maintenance uh, the software uh, que es necesario tener el programa el, el software Ah, uh -huh. so it's mandatory or no, true or false? Uh, and the organizations uh, with the assistance of a good uh, preventive, uh, preventive, preventive, preventive. Man, man, maintenance, maintenance so, software, maintenance software program. Okay. Uh -huh. So true or false? What's the one? What? Hola. <laughs> verdadero o falso entonces, José True or false? Eh, es verdadero, dicho. True. It's true. Mm, no lo sé, Ricardo. No. So, <laughs> here, there is a word here that is very relevant. It says mandatory, right? Mandatory says that it's an obligation. Mm, but here it says, keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. It's easier with a software, but it's not mandatory, right? So you can always do it on your own. So puede hacer a pie, right? So you don't need a software. Y, so it's not mandatory. Es una recomendación que nos dan, sí. Pero mandatory en este caso nos dice que es uh, por, por obligación que tendría que ser así, ¿no? Y, so mm -mm. this one would be false. So there you go. But nice. Okay. Now, okay. all right, excellent. Now, talking here about 
if you check the second part of this lesson, again, it makes emphasis on idioms. So we have another set of idioms that uh, are related to what we were uh, studying there. And it says, right, there we have the definitions of certain idioms there. It says wiped out. So that means very tired. We have to have a lot on one's plate. Uh, when I say to, I have a lot on my plate already, I have a lot of things to do, right? My plate is full. Y literalmente, en mi plato está lleno, right? So I'm here, I'm, I'm up to here, right? Full of activities in my to-do list. So I'm sorry, my, my plate is full, cannot help you, right? Y to settle down, to settle down, to calm down, right? It's like a synonym. Hanging there, este es de mi favorito, es lo que me gusta usar bastante. Hanging there, right? Como de tranquilo, ya, ya aguanta, aguanta. So take it easy. Hanging there, be patient, right? Literalmente es como tenerle paciencia a, a algo, no a alguien. So hanging there, hanging there, it's almost Friday, for example. So we have to keep one's head above water. E to keep the head above water means like we are here with what in Spanish we say con el agua hasta el cuello, right? E, um, but in this case, it means to survive something, right? So e, we can use this one in different contexts, actually, as the rest, well, the rest here. Then we have to scale back one's hours. That is to reduce the number of hours one works. So to work less, right? If to scale back one's hours, to try to work less. Then we have stressed out. If this is something that is very common nowadays. We say, I'm stressed out, right? If it's Monday, it's Tuesday, and I'm so stressed out with so many things to do. If my boss is pushing me, right? Preaching me about doing something. So that stresses me out. So that is to feel anxious or to feel uh, stressed about something. And then we have um, sleep one's mind. So that slipped uh, my mind, for example. I forgot, yeah, I forgot something, yep. So, this just some vocabulary you should keep in mind for eh, the use of idioms, right? Estos idioms que están acá no, no están como full orientado a work eh, or working places, but still eh, we can use them. We can use idioms as we have seen before in many different areas. So. It's always good to memorize and to understand idioms. We never know. And to do so, I have here some more examples. Let me see. On idioms that we can use in our day-to-day -day activities. So let me share my screen on the right thing. Where is it? here there you go all right so here we have the other day we were reviewing some uh, idioms with some tv shows some tv series uh, today we're going to review some more idioms that we might get to um here in on tv right or in movies. So let me see. I'm going to play the video and you take notes of the different idioms we're going to review here in this uh, video. So listen and watch. Here we go.
hit the books. Definition, to study very hard. I have an exam tomorrow, I need to hit the books tonight. Well, I guess we better hit the books, huh? Oh, yeah, right. Dear diary, tomorrow I buckle down and hit the books. Well, time to hit the books. Great! I'll go hit the books. They're going to hit the books and pass it. That way you'll have no choice but to hit the books. In the meantime, hit those books, because if you don't pass your midterms, there'll be no class trip for any of you. Couch Potato Definition, someone who spends a lot of time sitting and watching TV. Stop being a couch potato. You should spend time with your friends. Look, you're going to become the first alien couch potato. What are you talking about, you corrupt couch potato? Look, I know I wasn't marrying a couch potato and... I don't know how to say this. The human being is called a couch potato. I look forward to being a couch potato for a while. Cut to the chase. Definition, to talk about or deal with the most important part of something. Can you cut to the chase and tell me what you want? Cut to the chase, Sheldon. Okay. But let's cut to the chase. What's your game, friend? Let's just cut to the chase, okay? What do you want? Uh, could we cut to the chase? Let's cut to the chase. Cut to the chase. What's it worth? So let's cut to the chase. I'm here to steal your 50 grand. <laughs> what? Let me just cut to the chase. You two, you got it bad for each other. Face the music. Definition to it. Nos pidiendo presupuesto para poner. I was humiliated. Te oprime. I'm sorry. To accept criticism or punishment for something you have done. Sooner or later, you're going to face the music. Well, time to go face the music. You take care of yourself all if right. I don't see you, all right? Time to face the music. You'll leave, and I'll stay and face the music. Face the music, whatever that may be. All right, time to face the music. Well, I don't see what choice you have. You either go home and face the music, or you suffocate in your own pee. In a nutshell, Definition, it's used for saying that you are going to express something in a short, clear way. In a nutshell, John and I broke up. In a nutshell, I hate my brother. In a nutshell, he is disgusting. Case in point. Okay, Julie, so now let's start with your childhood. What was that like? <laughs> well, in a nutshell. Uh, uh, So describe your, your spinoff in a nutshell. Huh? That's my 20s in a nutshell. Okay. Well, the, okay. In a nutshell, what I'm saying is leadership. On thin ice. Definition. If someone is on thin ice, they are in a risky position. Don't be late again, Lucas. You're on thin ice. Let's face it, you're on thin ice. You're on thin ice, Rodriguez. Now listen up. You are on thin ice, boy. We're already on thin ice with Mr. Friedman. You are on thin ice, boy. You want to keep this job? You're on thin ice, Garrison. You're on thin ice, buddy. And you are on very, hey, very thin ice. Be all ears. Definition to be very keen to hear about something. I've got some good news for you. I'm all ears.
I'm totally listening. I'm all ears. Go. Oh, but when Phoebe has a problem, everyone's all ears. If you have better ideas of how to defeat the devil, Bonnie, I'm all ears. I know you wanted to talk this out, so, uh, I'm all ears. Yeah, Superman. We're all ears. If there's something here that would like to communicate with us, we're all ears. Speak up. A dime a dozen. Definition, very common and not valuable. Low-paying jobs are a dime a dozen in the city center. That's a lovely scarf you're wearing. Uh, where did you get it? Uh, they're a dime a dozen. <laughs> well, don't worry about it, son. Those things are a dime a dozen. Those guys are a dime a dozen. Good! Leave! I don't need you to help me solve my problems. You know what? You're a dime a dozen. I can't tell which one's Marty. Guys like us, we are a dime a dozen. In the same boat. Definition, to be in the same difficult situation as someone else. We're all in the same boat. We should help each other. You and I, we're in the same boat. And I got a wife, I got a kid, I got a kid on the way, I got a new job. I'm in the same boat. I thought we were in the same boat. I made a choice to end that relationship. We're not in the same boat. I am the captain, but we're all in the same boat. Teamwork. I'm in the same boat as you, Raymond. Not rocket science. Definition, it's used to say that something is not difficult to do or understand. You can learn how to drive a car. It's not rocket science. That's it, no advice? What advice? Call or apologize. It's not rocket science. Man. Not because I do it all the time, I'm just saying it's not rocket science. I mean, fixing your hair is not exactly rocket science, unless you've only got one arm. Barb, Barb, it's not rocket science. You just tell your parents you're going to stay at my place afterwards. Miss the boat. Definition, to lose an opportunity by not taking action quickly enough. He missed the boat when he didn't apply for the job in time. Danielle, we all know you have a problem with commitment. Don't miss the boat on this one like you did with Tyler. So I maybe kind of missed the boat a little bit on calling you shrimpy. The one who really missed the boat in London was me. That's all I need to know. Well, you really missed the boat, didn't you, Prentice? <laughs> Come in handy. Definition, to be useful in a particular situation. These boxes will come in handy when we move house. You never know, it might come in handy one day. See, now I would date this girl. She's cute, she's outdoorsy. You know, and she knows how to build a fire. I mean, that's got to come in handy. What is it? Something that might come in handy. I could see how his uh, unique skills could really come in handy to an intelligent guy, huh? I knew those scrapbooks were going to come in handy. Speak of the devil. Definition, it's said when someone you have just been talking about appears unexpectedly. Speak of the devil. We were just talking about you. Speak of the devil. Here he is. I think that's extraordinary. Congratulations. Oh, speak of the devil. It's over, Sonny. It's too late. There he is. Speak of the devil. Oh, speak of the devil. That's what makes him so invaluable. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Easy does it. Definition, it's used to tell someone to do something slowly and carefully. 
easy does it. It's very fragile. Oh, we careful, we careful, we careful. Easy does it, everyone. Nobody even take Kevin a breath. Okay, Dave. Easy does it. Easy does it there. <laughs> easy does it, lady. We're moving, okay? All right. All right. Easy does it. Nice and slow. Easy does it till we find a place, all right? Fat chance. Definition, it's used to say that, something is very unlikely to happen. Fat chance I'll go to the party tonight, I should study for the exam. Max, fat chance. I think they want us to stop. Fat chance. Oh, good! You can tell me the password so I can call off the hit. Fat chance, mister. Not after you ruined my life. <laughs> fat chance of that. You, me, fat chance. I think we should visit the Hershey Chocolate Factory. <laughs> fat chance, Milton. I love that show. Okay, so what are you going to do with these idioms? Well... As you could listen to it, they mentioned some idioms like face the music, in a nutshell, on thin eyes, to be all ears, hit the books, couch potato, eh, cut to the chase, eh, a dime a dozen, uh, in the same boat, not rocket science, miss the boat, come in hand, speak of the devil, easy does it, in fat chance. So there you have a quite impressive number of idioms with their definitions. So what are you gonna do with this? In the same groups that you were working, you're going to try to create a short conversation. Doesn't have to be something really long, but I want you to create a short conversation using the, some of the idioms that were used or that were described in the video. I'm gonna share the video in the chat. So in case you missed some of them, you can check them. So let me see. There you go. So you have the link also in the WhatsApp group if, so that you can check it. I'm going to send, I'm going to share it here as well in the, let me see. Wait. In the Zoom chat so that you can have it here too. There you go. So, we're going to work in the same groups. I'm going to give you, again, just 10 minutes. 10 minutes for you to create something. At least use two, no, three. Three idioms in your conversation. No los tienen que ocupar todos, ¿verdad? Solo tres, al menos tres idioms en su conversación. So, analyze the context and check the ones that you like or the ones you consider the easiest, and you include those idioms in the conversation. ¿De qué tiene que ser la conversación? Surprise me. It's up to you, right? It's your decision. As long as you use the three idioms. So let me see. I'm going to open up, again, the breakout rooms so that you can work, and you will have 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutes, remember, not too long conversation. So groups are open now. So you can start working in the conversation now. So let me see. We wait. Creo que me quedaron un par de gente afuera. Let's see. And, all right, there you go. There you go. And let's see. Lo metemos al grupo nosotros, usted. <laughs> yes, yes. And all right. And Nelson, se me ha por allá afuera. Room two. Okay, there you go.
Oh, yes, teacher. All right. Okay. There you go.
Okay, nice. So let's wait for the rest. Okay, so here they come, little by little. Nice, nice. Tun, 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 all right. Okay, so I guess we're all here now. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what you got. Remember, easy does it. Don't worry, take it easy. Horse your horses, and here we go. So, group number one, let's start in order. So let's start with E. Carlos, Karen, and Jenny. Okay. Um, hi, guys. Do you study for the exam? Yes, I hate the books. Uh, hi, Jenny. Hi, Karen. Uh, I, I didn't even know there was a, an exam. On the nice, Carlos. The exam is tomorrow. Okay, I will have to study tonight. <laughs> we can study together because we are in the same boat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and that was it. Okay, very good. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's it. Good. So. Awesome, like I guess it was kind of creative, so good, good. So nice. Let's see. Group number two, Denise, Grisel, Luis, and Nelson. Okay, teacher. I don't lose to compartir. There you go, yes. Okay. Donas. <laughs> Hello, Nelson. Hello, Nelson. Hello, Nelson. Good morning. This is Luis. Hello. Hi, Luis. How are you? How are you? Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, but the day I'm not get of the office. What happened? I'm sick. I'm Cesar Dog. Nelson, <laughs> please advise to my boss, Grisel. Hi, Grisel. Luis has told me to advance to you, Grisel. Uh, okay, okay, Nelson. Take it easy. I know that Luis is sick because he got to the party yesterday and drink how much. It's because the devil, Luis is calling me in this moment. Oh my God, Luis, why did you drink that much? <laughs> okay, that was good, that was good. No specific water, soda. Uh, yeah, soda. true, true. <laughs> we got a point here. It could be soda, right? We don't know. <laughs> nice, so just a couple of things here. What it says, uh, Nelson, please advise uh, my boss, Grisel, that's cool. But then here it's better, Luis told me to tell you, right? Luis told me to tell you, then you were, you were explained, right? Uh, Luis told me to tell you that he's sick. But then Grisel says, okay, uh, Nelson, take it easy. I know that Luis, Luis is sick because uh, he went, right? Because it's fast. He went to the party yesterday uh -huh. and drank, simple past too, and drank too much, too okay. much. Right. Oh, okay. In speak of the devil, Luis is calling me in this moment. Luis is calling me like For something. Past, I forget it. The verb. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the time. The verb. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. It happens with the tenses, but that's okay. But little details. The rest and the idioms they were good. So excellent. Let's see then. A okay. group number three. Uh huh. Oh, I'm sorry. Group number three, Blanquita, Carlos, Javier, and Maria Elena. Good 
nosotros solo escribimos uno bien chiquitito. Eso a vamos ver. a <risa> <risa> Solo hello, take it easy. <risa> ah, pero, okay. Uh, Let's see. Okay. All right. Don't worry. Okay. Let's see. Que tenemos sueño, Tito. <risa> ya somos. Pero, <risa> ya somos 15. <risa> Yo creo que tal vez ahí pueden ver. La blanquita. <risa> no le alcanzamos a ver, pero. Yo siento que derrame me va a dar la vida con ver esta lente. No sé. No, 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 de ahí Blanquita, yo completé el homework y Carlos dice, yes, a piece of cake. Y yo, no, I don't finish. Hasta ahí. Oye, que eso ahí se quedó. Solo ese pedacito. Ok. No nos da ahorita. Ok, so, don't worry, for next time, we'll see, next time. Ok. So, then we continue with, let me see. Ana, Beatriz, y José Eduardo y Oscar. Ok, teacher. Let's see. Hello, Eduardo. He, he hit the book Study English to the past. Hi, Ana. Um, in the in the scene, uh, scene, scene in about, mm -hmm. I am in is bar. in, in bar. I am is problem mathematica. Mathematics. Uh, mathematics. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Are you is Oscar Anita? Speak or the devil. We were just talking about you. Hi Anna. <laughs> Hi Jose. How are you? <laughs> Hi Oscar. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's it. Okay. Okay. Oscar was the devil then. Okay. <laughs> All right. So nice. Good. Good. So then we have last group, Juan Carlos and Omar. Okay. All right. Hello, Mr. Omar. Hello, Mr. Juan Carlos. What are you doing? I study, I study English. Really? You will study hit the books if you learn very fast. You will hit the books. I, mm -hmm. All years. When someone know when someone know the language, easy does it. Really? Same for advance. Your advice. Advice. advice, yes, uh, for your advice. Finish it. All right, there you go. So only one thing there with easy does it. Easy does it is like a eh, con calma, no, o, o todo con calma. Easy does it. Cuando estoy abatido y no me no me imprime por ahí la la multifuncional y necesito un documento y estoy abatido ahí que se trabó el papel. Y alguien me va a decir, hey, no, take it easy, easy does it, right? easy does it, easy does it es como tranquilo, despacio, veamos cómo lo hacemos, ¿verdad? cómo lo arreglamos, pero don't a holote, ¿verdad? no se holote, eso no es idioma, hey, no voy a decir eso, eso no es idioma, all right, so, sí. no, no voy a decir eso, all right, so, It's almost time to go somewhere. Yeah, yeah. The attendance. Y, well, antes de que también nos vayamos, no se les olvide. Y pónganse el día con las tareas y por ahí si les falta alguna, y revísenla. Um, me quedo hasta como que se, se convierte el video más o menos a las diez y media. Subo video, subo nota. ¿verdad? So, les queda ahí una media hora todavía y después de la clase para revisar si algo le falta y que todo esté en orden. Ok, ya las diez y media, sí. 
me pierdo en el camino de la vida. So, there you go. I'm going to take the attendance then. So, let me see. Here we go. And here it goes. So, in number one, Ana Beatriz Campos. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Beatriz. Y number two, Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Blanquita. Y next, Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you very much, y Carlos. Next person, Carlos Javier Crespin. Present teacher, present. Thank you very much, Javier. Y next person, Cristian Ernesto Lazo. Y I guess he wasn't here today, so we continue with Denise Grisel Brizuela. Present teacher. Thank you very much, y Grisel. Next, Ember Giovanni Polio. Not here. Y next, Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. All right, por ahí dijo que se sentía mal. So anyway, next, José Eduardo Guzmán. Present. All right, thank you very much, José Eduardo. Y next, Juan Carlos Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much, JC. Y next person, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Thank you very much, Karen. Y next person, Luis Alfonso Martinez. Present. Sure. Thank you, Luis. Very good. Next person, y María Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Present. Thank you very much, María Elena. Y next, Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Present the teacher. All right, thank you, Nelson. Y next person, Omar Francisco Hernández. Present teacher. Thanks a lot, Omar. Y next, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Oscar. And last but not least, Jenny Suleima Santos. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much, Jenny. Okay, guys, so we're going to stop then right here. Y solo nos quedamos entonces con José Eduardo. The rest of you, you can go get some rest, get some sleep. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So have a good night. Take care. See good you night. Tomorrow, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Take care. Sweet dreams, people. Good night, teacher. Goodbye. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, let's see. Eduardo. Just give me a second. Parada, parada. And that's it. Bah. Oh, you see, Jose Eduardo. So, permítame. Hoy sí, che. Bah. Hoy sí, Jose Eduardo. Y okay. bueno, estos 10 minutos y José Eduardo lo vamos a ocupar para, bueno, alguna duda que usted tenga. También por ahí le voy a dar algo de feedback y um, prácticamente eso, ¿no? So, le quería preguntar antes que nada y he notado que a veces se conecta un poquito tarde. Y, sí. ¿qué, ¿Qué me le ha pasado? Ese teacher que estoy teniendo eh, un poquito de, de, de problema con, uh -huh. con respecto a las salidas uh -huh. de, de donde estoy, ¿verdad? Eh, laborando, muchas veces vengo un poco tarde, algo un poco uh -huh. tarde, teacher, y por Ajá. ese motivo es que estoy, eh, tengo cosas que hacer, me agarro Ajá. un poco la tarde, ¿verdad? pero Ajá. trato siempre de estar pendiente y en las tareas, voy, creo que por la tarea 14. Ya casi, en lo último. Ok. Sí. Nice. Chivísimo. Ajá, por ese motivo, dicho. Pero muchas veces, este, ¿cómo se llama? No, no, 
no, no estoy cabal en, eh, al 100% y que hay veces estoy conectado, pero porque no, no entiendo mucho. Ah. <risa> ok, ok. Uh -huh. so, me pasa, me pasa uh -huh. lo mismo. Uh -huh. <risa> pero okay, ese, yeah. sí, me gusta bastante su modo de, 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 de enseñarnos, teacher, y, y me agrada que es bien paciente ¿verdad? con nosotros. No, gracias. La verdad que ahí Ajá. estamos, a la orden. Eh, eh, si en algún momento, bueno, hay una estructura que, que usted no, no entiende o que se le, algo que no me ha entendido, deténgame, dígame, mire, Pichet, ¿cree que nos explica otra vez? O, ¿O será que nos comparte algo al respecto? Cualquier cosa, vea, lo que usted eh, realmente necesite. Eh, pues yo le echo la mano, ¿verdad? yo le vuelvo a explicar o, o yo le comparto algún material de refuerzo. Y así como a veces en el grupo, o sea, mando cosas relacionadas a los temas y por ahí podíamos mandarle algo. Now, okay. Y pues hasta ahorita yo he visto que sí le cuesta un poquito, pero trata. ¿verdad? A mí lo que, lo que me parece es que sí, sí trata y a pesar de que a veces no, no, tal vez no sabe la palabra o se le ha olvidado la palabra, pero trata de, de decirlo en inglés y está, está bien, ¿no? Por ahí, por ahí se empieza. Pero eh, sí, yo le recomendaría siempre buscar más vocabulario, ¿verdad? buscar más eh, palabras. Acuérdense que entre más vocabulario nosotros tenemos, más probabilidades tenemos de, de, de expresarnos, ¿no? Más digamos, podemos expresar ideas un poco más complejas. Y pues esto prácticamente vocabulario, en el vocabulario también podemos meter la pronunciación, que pues si aprendemos una palabra nueva, buscamos cómo se pronuncia, buscamos cómo usarla en contexto, eh, no solo el significado de la palabra, lo que les decía la vez anterior, ¿no? sino también tratar de, de entender cómo usar esa palabra también, cómo producir la palabra también de manera eh, verbal, todo eso, ¿no? Este, okay. Eso le puede, le puede servir y no sé sí, si usted... Como, ajá, sí, digo. Como manera de, de estar, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, así como los párrafos que salen aquí en el, en el, en el módulo, ¿verdad? En el, ajá. Lo que uh -huh. muchas veces usted los pone a leer... Eso, eso me puede ayudar bastante porque siento sí. que cuando hay este face to face es así, ¿verdad? Que, eh, con, Correcto. Ah, ah, face to face con, solo con los, los tuvieron. Eso, es, eso sí Ajá. me ayuda bastante. Sí. Eso sí, yo siento que no es que, no es que comprenda quizás al 100%, ¿verdad? Ni al 50%, pero uh -huh. algo se me queda. Y lo bueno es de que pronuncio bastante empieza a hablar ahí el, el, el inglés y hay palabras que quizás no, no las tenga en mi vocabulario pero sí este este cómo se llama son buenas verdad aprenderlas sí. sí no claro este eso, eso yo siento que ayuda me ayuda bastante a mí pues es estar una conversación con otra persona verdad cuando estamos haciendo los párrafos claro claro de hecho, al inicio, cuando estamos comenzando a aprender, y uno aprende también de la repetición, ¿verdad? Uno aprende del tipo en la escuela, ¿no? Cuando estamos chiquitos, aprendemos las letras, los sonidos, todo lo intentamos como de memorizar y lo vamos repitiendo. A, E, I, O, U, como en la escuela. Y Ajá. lo mismo nos pasa a nosotros al aprender otro idioma. Si yo leo en voz alta, si yo escucho cómo se pronuncia, o sea, cómo va leyendo la persona, y trato de irlo repitiendo, o trato de, 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 de imitar, eso también me ayuda. Me ayuda que yo internalizo el sonido, yo internalizo el ritmo. Entonces, ¿qué puedo hacer, digamos, fuera de la clase para practicar esto? Y puedo ver videos. Bueno, hoy tenemos la ventaja de que bueno, un celular... Podemos hacer de todo, ¿verdad? podemos ver videos en YouTube, tal vez de algo que le guste, puede ser deportes, puede ser eh, electrónica, negocios, algo que sea relacionado a su trabajo, cualquier cosa que a usted le guste, puede ser algo de, de, que le despeje la mente, este, algo que tenga que ver de películas, reportajes, lo que usted quiera, pero en inglés, por ejemplo, en inglés, 
puedo practicar de dos maneras. Le puedo poner el subtítulo en inglés que me ayude a ir leyendo el subtítulo y a ir escuchando la pronunciación o puedo poner el subtítulo en español. El subtítulo en español me hace entender, vea, por si el vocabulario es muy elevado, me hace ir entendiendo la idea que están diciendo. Y entonces puedo ocupar las dos cosas. La cuestión es, también puedo imitar. Si yo veo cómo se escribe en inglés, puedo prácticamente que, y, imitar esa pronunciación, tratar de imitarla, de ponerle atención, de imitar no solo cómo se pronuncia, sino el ritmo que la persona ocupa, ¿verdad? Y el español a veces lo hablamos plano, es lo que les decía un día de esto. Ajá, el, ayer. El, ayer, ajá, el inglés sí tiene como ritmo, ¿verdad? para arriba, para abajo, se oye como cantado, pero o exagerado a veces, ¿no? Teacher, y una, una información este, acerca de cuando, cuando eh, para, para, la pronuncia, para la pronunciación, <risa> este, eh, para la pronunciación, para que estar practicando uno, eh, unos tutoriales que usted me, me pudiera Ajá. brindar un, eh, como apoyo, teacher, que me lo enviara así al, a, a, al, al WhatsApp, no sé. Le voy a poner, pues? Ajá, creo que tal vez... Algo de pronunciación que nos cuesta a todos al inicio son los sonidos vocales, los sonidos de las vocales en inglés. Porque nosotros en español tenemos cinco vocales, A, E, I, O, U. Ajá. Y fueren, o sea, la pronunciación de esas cinco vocales son así, y cinco sonidos. En inglés no tenemos, tenemos cinco letras vocales, pero tenemos como 14 sonidos vocales. Entonces, ahí es donde uno se pierde, por ejemplo, en la pronunciación de muchas palabras, en las la combinaciones de, de vocales que vemos a veces, que no suenan igual en unas palabras y en otras. ¿verdad? Tenemos una, una A que suena cat en gato, pero que suena hat en sombrero. Es so, eh, diferente, ¿no? Y... Le voy a, lo voy a compartir en el grupo. Voy a buscar ese video eh, de lo, la, las vocales en inglés para tener una, pues una base, porque eso no, no podemos como buscar algo en general de la pronunciación de las palabras, pero sí nos podemos enfocar en los sonidos, que es al final esa combinación de vocales y de consonantes la que nos hace producir un sonido y la que nos da una idea ya al saber de cómo se puede pronunciar una palabra, aunque no la conozcamos, qué significa, pero nos hace tener como una idea de quizás cómo se podría pronunciar, ¿no? Que es lo que a veces no, nos falta en inglés. Así que les voy a compartir este video de los sonidos vocales para que se ayuden un poquito con, con eso de sí. la pronunciación. Uh -huh. Ok, así es, dicho. Nice. Sí, eso me, me, me favorecería bastante. Excelente, chivísimo. Nice, José Eduardo. Bueno, ahí estamos, eh, queremos ahí aprender. <ríe> no, hombre, démosle ahí con todo. <ríe> les tengo fe, Gracias, les tengo fe que sí pueden y pues nada, nos sigan adelante, eh, esfuércense y pues eh, sigamos, nos sigamos ahí con el buen trabajo. Y pues nada más, ¿no? yo le comparto entonces el, el material y nos veríamos entonces el día de mañana en la clase, José Eduardo. Ok, muchas gracias. Ok, Fichero. bueno, gracias a usted. Feliz noche, entonces. Buenas noches. Ok, bye-bye. Bye, Ticho. Bye. -bye. bye.